Don't try to make this at home. It's a far with five coils on it. Oven elements here. My resistor triggers. You can see all the neons are flashing. I got eight wires per, co per coil, eight transistors, so forth. And you got brand new. 8 volt golf car batteries for 24 volts on the back end. Oop, I've got to still hook it all up. And then I take the clutch off. So. I already tried it in 6th gear here. And it took off and bent my Batteries in the back here. So much torque on there. So once it builds up some speed, it gets some, some pretty good power and it charges one to one or so with this SCR. Got this big honking SCR in here. This um, this is like this composite material here, so sort of half wood and plastic. I thought that would be a good option instead of wood or aluminum. Looks all right. These wires that I'm using that I'm using are not what I'm gonna end up with. Instead, I'll use these. Two gauge wire or zero wire, from two quarter inch thick. So the temp temperature on the resistors and the uh, diodes and the transistors is about a hundred or less. Actually, it's about a hundred. So it's eighty degrees in this room. It's pretty good. Um, I can go up in the resistance and put out more power on this if I want to. So it should be sufficient. I think it's 20 coils right now. There's a fan. One 
foil. There's the other. Okay, here we are again. I ran out of tape, so I got to rewind it. Okay, here we are in sixth gear. I'm going to pop the clutch here. And we're going to go for a little ride in here. You can see that we're driving. And I can continue to go there. And of course, it slows down a bit. I only have this in 12, 24 volts. So I want to bring it up and then finish adding the coils here. And it, and they do some work for me. At least it drives um, the generator there. Well, here you have the lawnmower, still not completed. And the wires, of course, are dangling. I've got 12 coils, each with 8 transistors. And 20 poles, so I got 20 coils potentially here. I've got a trigger switch here. Not completed, but so we're just going to start this thing up. And you're going to see the neons sort of flashing here. I'm going to get this little bulb on here. Going. Oh, it gets going. It's going. Puts out a lot of power here. And I've got this switching box here, which isn't really very good. It's going to get better contact switches. As you can see, they're all going. And I've been able to drive this lawnmower down this driveway here, which is pretty steep. I've got the three batteries in the back here. And the three batteries in the front. And then in between got some capacitors here. There's not really very good capacitors for this operation. I need higher microfarad capacitors, which I have. And then we've got the SCR here, just triggered with this basic diode right here. It's a pretty big SCR. So it's not completely balanced either, this machine here. But once it gets going, I'll be able to drive it. I'll show you in a minute. If I increase this um, resistance here, I can get a lot more power out of it. Of course, it, it drains more, but I've got a pulley on the top here, and I can drive a generator um, once it gets up to speed. So I've got... Let's see here. There we go. This is, uh, I've got three bulbs on here. But seven watt bulbs. And then I've got these oven elements here as my resistors. So it's getting up there in the speed. So we'll give it a ride here. I don't really have it mounted very well. See. Uh, I'm going to try and give it a little bit of a reverse, let's see, Good reverse, whoops, something's wrong here, oh you know what, I got it backwards. <laughs> direction. <laughs> I hit it backwards so when I tried to put it in reverse I was going forward and it all confused. So before it gets going too fast and we start taking flight, I'm gonna start doing it in reverse here. 
And I'll just give you a sample of the fact that we were moving here. And I will thrust it into here, here, and we'll see this guy take off. So we can